Today we're going to talk about data annotation, what is it, and the places where to find these jobs. These are really, really simple jobs, but it is going to depend on your location. I know that the dollar is not worth the same in the US as it is in the rest of the world. So yeah, location dependent. But firstly, I want you to know this. You see this, this is Fiverr, of course, everybody knows it. But I want to show you that some of the people there, well, they're doing a really smart thing. They cut out the middleman. Now, what this means is that they don't operate via certain website. I'm going to show you some of these websites, which can be used in order for yourself to learn how to do these jobs. But later on, this is a really smart move because they cut out the middleman. They don't, you know, have their money taken away by these platforms. But most probably, these people learn the job through the platforms. And that's what you can do as well. You can learn how to do these jobs, and then you can have your own gig on Fiverr because there's a lot of people coming over on Fiverr to get these tasks completed. And you can see that it is pretty good because, for example, this person here, let's just go into this gig right here. This person charges $150 for 10,000 bounding boxes. Or let's just take this person right here. This person charges $5 for 400 bounding boxes. And you can see if this person already has like more than 200 sales. I know this because not everyone is going to leave a review at the end. So more than 200 sales. And of course, not everyone is going to get the basic package. Some people are going to get the standard package. Some are going to get premium package. So this really, really works if you know what to do. So now we're going to unpack all of these websites that I know. So you can basically teach yourself how to do these jobs and then later on do it yourself or you can just still keep doing it on the platform, whatever you want. The first website is called TELUS Digital. Maybe some of you heard about it and all you gotta do, I'm not affiliating with it, you will not find any links down there. This one is over at telusdigital.com and whenever you land on the homepage, you just go to the career section here and then you've got a few of these options. Some people are loving this by the reviews. I see that people are just love this customer service thing. I don't like this, but you have to know that there's this opportunity as well if you want to do that. But I'm into this AI community because here you can see AI trainers and data annotators. Now, this is really, really good. If you search for roles here, you're going to find a lot of different jobs and you can even filter these out by keywords, by job types, by language and location. First of all, what I like to do is to select a location and then just typing in remote or you can just go with the job type and then go to data collection here, click on search and then it's just going to open up these jobs. Now, whichever one of these you take, for example, online data analyst, whichever one of these you click on, you're going to see that work style is remote you're going to see that the job type is freelance and you're going to see the description and the requirements for a certain job. Read this through, go and see, do you have what it takes? But most of the times these are not so complicated. So that's the first site. Just go through it. The second one is my favorite one. This is called outlier. Outlier is also training AI different things. So that is data annotation. And if you don't know by now, data annotation is just you giving the instructions to the AI. For example, you will annotate a box around a street lamp or a tree or a person or a car. So the AI knows what to look out for later on when it meets that in the real world. So we're basically teaching AI what is what in the real world. It's not complicated. But some of these can go to the expert phase. And that is what outlier is. Because as you can see, use your brilliance to train AI and of course get paid for it. What this is about is that you have to have certain expertise in let's just say math, chemistry, languages, data science. And if you just go and see what are these domains, let me just click on them. There's many of these open opportunities. But if you click on the generalist tab here, you're going to see sometimes you're going to have these little jobs that require no complex skills. And what I love about it is that rating and ranking are my favorite ones because you choose the best response from some of these options that these models give you. 
And if you have any kind of knowledge into any kind of these categories, you're gonna know your way around. That's why on Outlier, you have to have some kind of expertise. You know, I mean, you don't have to be an expert, science, whatever, but you have to know something about something, about these categories right here. So Outlier is a bit more complicated, but it pays way, way more. Now, on the other hand, Stellar is really, really good. And they have also these specialized AI improvements, but they also have really easy jobs as well. Now, Stellar, as you can see, work as much as you want, work from home, all of these are like that. But on Stellar, there is no previous experience needed because this is what you're gonna do. You select which AI chatbot answer is the best. So in this task, you will be asked to write a question for an AI chatbot on a topic you are familiar with. You will then get two different answers and you will need to judge which of the two is better. You'll have to look at various aspects of the answers, blah, blah, blah. Now, what happens on all of these websites is that they take these tasks from different companies and they put these jobs on their own platform. They are basically drop servicing you and me and all the other people. That's why I told you, whenever you feel ready to have your own gig, even to have your own website for it, go for it. That is just the natural skill business, all right? Fiverr is maybe the first place that you should go over to because it allows you to just have you on that marketplace without having to own the website or whatever. Now, there's something else that I really like on Fiverr, and this is lead generation or lead gen. If you don't know what this is, well, a lot of companies, well, mostly all of the companies, they always need more leads, and leads are potential customers. So they always want to generate new leads. Luckily for us is that you can automate this process if you use the right tools and you can get some really, really good money for it. For example, like this person here, he is charging $20 for 200 leads. But as I've told you, this can be automated with ease if you've got a right tool. First of all, I got to tell you this. If by any chance you want to collect leads from Google Maps, I have a perfect tool for you. It's called Lead Sniper. The link for it you can find down there. A few clicks and you scrape all the leads you need. They have free trial, which you can just use right now to see whether this is for you or not. And from there, it's a one-time payment. It is basically an extension, which works like this on Google Chrome. You find your area and then you just type in the keyword. Let's just go with barber or maybe barbershop. Click on the start button. And then it's just gonna list out all the barbershops in your location. You can see the number of leads here, and of course you can export all of it into CSV file. On Lead Sniper, they've got a few other products such as Google Search Scraper and a few other ones, but Google Maps is the one I use the most. There's an installation guide for you as well. And if you ever feel stuck, there's 24 seven live chat support for solving all your problems. And as I've told you, pay once and export leads forever. So that is something else that you can do on Fiverr in your spare time. Let's go back to data. This is called We Localize. We Localize, it is over at welocalize.com. And if you scroll down all the way down to the bottom, you will find careers section right here. And then you're gonna find this. There's a lot of jobs on We Localize as well. And if you click on work type, and then you click on freelance remote, you're gonna have all that is related to us. Now, there's a lot of these language-based things on we localize but of course there's a lot of data annotation things and these are location-based as you can see africans albanian there's like greek and you know if you find your own country on this list well you're lucky but there's a lot of these countries as you can see and of course there's data annotators all around entry-level data raters data collections, audio recording projects. This all exists on We Localize. Maybe the biggest amount of jobs is on this website. And whenever you click on any one of these, let's just go with, I don't know, let's just go with AI data annotator for French or Canada. You're gonna see what kind of job is it and you're gonna see what they need from you. All you gotta do at the end is to click on apply for this job and do what they ask you to do. Now, the hardest one, but people say that sometimes it pays good, is the Appens Crowd Gen. Now, this is very simple to Stellar or Outlier, 
but I would happily always choose Stellar or Outlier because Appen is sometimes really hard to understand. It's really messy and glitchy and all of that. I'm just gonna put this here, but I wouldn't recommend this to be your first website because, well, as I've told you, sometimes it can get shady. But what's ironic is that, well, these tasks here, they're the most fun ones because you can evaluate short form videos on social media platforms. You can fact check videos, images and posts on social media. You can just do these really fun tasks. On all of the other sites, the tasks are pretty boring, but here you get to watch some media as well. So yeah, that's ironic. But as I've told you, Appen is, you know, they're just getting worse every year. But if you want to try them out, well, be my guest. It is over at crowdgen.com. One more that I like, and it's working really well, is Remote Tasks. Remote Tasks also has really, really simple jobs, and they teach you the most on how to do these things. Because here you can see that the more difficult the task is, the more your payment is going to be. So for example, they go from simple annotations here to some more complex ones until you get to lead our technology. So these are going to teach you more than you need to know in order to open up yourself on Fiverr as well. Remo tasks is maybe one that I would start with because they have all of the training that you need to do. As you can see, learn how to do tasks with these like quick online courses or free hands-on training. And then you will be able to complete the tasks on the platform and later on do it yourself. Remo tasks is beginner friendly, maybe the best when you're, when you're just starting out. And the last one is the oldest one, but it still works. It's called Clip Worker. And yeah, these people are here. These are the dinosaurs of this. They had like those, those micro tasks in the past but now they've also come to the AI projects. And as you can see, AI training data services, market insights, they've got tagging services, they've got app and web testing services. There's a lot of different jobs on the website and they have many categories. I mean, they're the oldest one, so they know what they're doing. The pay is not so good. I mean, don't let me say that because I don't know what kind of situation you are in and where do you live, and what is the dollar worth in your area. I suggest you go over and check all of these out. Keep the ones you like, keep the ones that pay you good. And of course, after all, open yourself up on Fiverr as well, because people are going to contact you there as well. So that's it for today. Wish you good luck, and I'll catch you in the next one.